Today, Microsoft announced the Surface Pro 3, just months after the Surface Pro 2. There's a lot of improvements and a lot of changes. We're going to go hands-on and show you what it's all about. Here it is, folks, the Surface Pro 3. Like we said, they just announced the Surface Pro 2 only a few months ago, but they've completely redone this device. What we're looking at here is a 12-inch display with a 2160 by 1440 resolution. It's absolutely gorgeous. Bezel's a little bit thinner, and as you can see, they moved the Windows key up here to the corner. That's because this device is sort of meant to be used as a notebook when you want to use the pen. Speaking of, there's the pen right there. It's a gorgeous pen. It's an aluminum finish. It does take a battery, so there's some screws. It takes a, uh, one single, I believe, a, a quadruple A battery. And you got the button on here, which launches OneNote. Now, this isn't actually an early release of this device, so the software isn't completely up to date. But we're told on day one, that would be tomorrow, uh, a patch update will come out for this and it'll enable the one click to work. You notice this has two buttons now, as compared to the old Surface Pro button. Uh, and the reason for that is because you can use an erase and a copy, uh, basically, so you can use those different features right there. It is a Wacom pen, which a lot of people have asked for, so people like that. And with the battery, it powers the Bluetooth, which syncs up to the device during the initial setup. What's also really nice, too, on the keyboard, as you can see right here, they finally gave you a little sleeve to put the pen in. So no more magnetic attachment to the side, which although looked clever, didn't work very well. So now you can just slide in the pen and take it with you. Uh, let's see how well that slides in there. Yeah, not too bad. It's a tight sleeve, and so it should work pretty well. There's a lot to like on the Surface Pro series, specifically the keyboard. It's one of my favorites, but it's not perfect. The touchpad, for instance, had a lot of complaints from users. Microsoft has completely redone it now by reducing the friction by 78%. They also have a new kickstand, so let's show you how that works. When it comes to a new type cover, you can see compared to the old one, it is slightly larger. Not tremendously so, but just enough to give it a little bit extra edge and make it slightly thinner. But what's really different here is the touchpad. You can see the old one here was the same felt material as the keyboard. A lot of people had complaints. Looking at the new one though, and you can see it's a completely different material, and it's much smoother to use. It feels much more like a real touchpad on a laptop. So they changed the material, it reduced the friction, and also scrolling is supposed to be a lot easier. And as you can see, my two finger scrolling, that's the first time I'm actually using it, folks, and it's uh, pretty flawless. I have actually no issues with it. So definitely a big improvement in regards to that. It's the same backlit keyboard, uh, has a pen holder on it, and other than that, if you use the type cover already, you should be pretty familiar with it. It does feel really nice being slightly spaced out a little bit more, but it's not drastically different from the old keyboard. Let's take a look at the kickstand. Microsoft is constantly improving things on the Surface series. At first, it clicked open to one position. On the Surface 2, it went to two positions. Surface 3, though, is completely modular. So it pulls out like this, but as you can see, you put pressure on it, and it completely goes to any angle up to 150 degrees. It's a very unique design. The resistance is very strong on it, meaning that once you do set it, and you have it open like this, pressure on the screen won't push the keyboard down. That stand is sturdy. In order to change it, you just grab it with two hands and you can adjust it as such to any position you want, including going almost all the way down flat. It gives a really unique feel. And as you can see here too, the keyboard uses magnets and it can attach to the bezel to give you a new feel to it. Here it is, the Surface Pro 3. Now this is the i5 version. It runs up to 2.5 gigahertz. It comes with eight gigs of RAM, along with 256 megabytes, or gigabytes, sorry, of storage. That can go all the way up to 512 gigabytes. And you can get a Core i7 as well, which goes much faster. Having said that, this device is very quick at i5. I think if you get an i5, it's a nice middle of the road between battery life and performance. And you can see things launch very quickly here. No problem at all. Screen is absolutely gorgeous. I do like the size of this. I think it feels a little bit more natural. Let's give it a tour. You can see same great quality as you can expect from all of Microsoft's Surface products. You have your speakers here on the side, looks like USB 3.0. That looks like a mini HDMI out. You can see the ventilation still going around, but it's very thin. Go to the top, clean. You have your single power button there. And coming around to the side, headphone jack and your volume keys. I've always liked the placement of these. 
And the buttons feel very good. They're very prominent. They don't wobble or have any play to them. They're very, very solid. Coming around to the back, super clean surface. You got your camera right up there. We haven't tested it yet, but we will in a few minutes to see how it is. So how thin and light is this device? This is a Surface 2 LTE. This is my go-to device that I use pretty much every day. It's one of my favorite devices all around. And if we were to compare the size, folks, I don't know how else to put this. They're exactly the same. Uh, it's the same thickness as a Surface 2. Not a Surface Pro 2, the Surface 2. That is very impressive when you consider the fact that this is running a Core i5 processor, aka it's a real PC that runs full Windows. You get the, all the benefits of the RT, of course, with way more performance and a full operating system. And it's really good display at 2160 resolution. Uh, it's the best, I think, of both worlds, and I think a lot of you will be very happy with it. And here's, of course, that keyboard, and these magnets are super strong. We'll do the famous click on thing here. You can see there it goes. Uh, the magnets feel phenomenal on this. Everything just clicks into place. When it comes to Surface Pro 3, one of the big selling points is this awesome pen. And we've already showed it to you before, and it's uh, really, really well designed. It's not too light, not too heavy at all. And of course, it's Wacom, which a lot of you people really enjoy. Now, if you used the Surface before, you know how well and how good the pen actually works on this device. And there it is. You can, of course, go through, select your different colors, your different pen types. And since it's Wacom, if you write very thinly and lightly, it well makes the line thin. And if you push down heavily, it makes you a nice thick line. And the recognition's really good. And of course, I can rest my palm on the screen and not have to worry about that area. I can still write and have no issue whatsoever. Unfortunately, the double click isn't working right now. As I mentioned earlier, it is a pre-release, so tomorrow morning, evidently, an update will come out for it. We'll do another test then. But overall, if you like drawing on your computer or like me, trying to see how bad my penmanship is. <laughs> there you go. So there it is, the Surface Pro 3. Just look how thin and light that device is. Will it be enough to dethrone the iPad? I'm not too sure, but I think for a lot of you looking for a great tablet and a really powerful laptop, this is gonna be your device. What's better, it goes on sale tomorrow, starting at $799 for the Core i3. It goes all the way up to just under two grand for the Core i7 with 512 gigabytes of storage. That's a lot of horsepower in a device, and we're quite impressed with it, but you tell us what you think. Anyone else want to for more information? Take care, bye.